Contraction of muscle cells generates muscle tension, which provides the force necessary for the muscular system to function. The amount of tension generated depends on such factors as sarcomere length, frequency of stimulation, and the size and number of motor units involved. Sarcomere length determines the degree of overlap between myosin and actin filaments. The more the overlap, the greater the number of cross bridges, the connections between myosin heads and actin. Because tension is generated when myosin heads pull on actin, the amount of tension produced in a muscle fiber depends upon the number of cross bridges formed in a myofibril. As sarcomere length decreases, optimizing the overlap, tension increases. Optimal sarcomere length and overlap produces maximum tension during contraction. Look at the graph depicting length-tension relationships. For a skeletal muscle cell, the optimal sarcomere length is about 2.2 micrometers. At this length, the muscle fiber is stretched just above 100% of its resting length. Significantly understretched or overstretched sarcomeres result in lower tension and weaker muscle contraction. In an understretched sarcomere, the ends of the actin filaments reach beyond the midpoints of the myosin filaments toward myosin heads that face in the wrong direction. This hampers the potential for cross bridges, reduces muscle tension, and weakens contraction force. If the length of a sarcomere shortens further, the thick filaments collide with the Z-discs and distort. Muscle tension and contraction force drop sharply. When the sarcomere is stretched beyond the ideal length, there is less overlap between the myosin and actin filaments. As a result, cross-bridge formation is substantially diminished. Muscle tension decreases and contraction weakens. In the extreme case, when a sarcomere is stretched to the point where no overlap exists, cross bridges cannot form and muscle tension drops to zero.